Hey guys, it's Miss Carrier again. I wanted to share just a few things about the second module with you. Um, I think that most of you are getting into this and figuring out that there are going to be things that just don't work exactly as the directions intended for them because you are using an online app. So my best tip for you is that if you can access the desktop software, the desktop app, uh, at all, that is going to be your best bet. So if you have a laptop or a computer that you can access to be able to get uh, that software, I think that that is going to be your best bet um, because I'm going to show you a couple of the things it's trying to get you to do. Uh, you'll just have to be a little creative with if you are using your Chromebook. For instance, on the desktop app, if you are trying to do a couple of the things in lesson two, in module two, like reusing a slide, from another presentation, you would be able to click that normally, go find the presentation, choose the slides within that presentation and insert, okay? Another thing that you would be able to do is insert a slide from an outline. So again, you would be able to open another presentation, go find the, the actual document, insert the information. So you're gonna find that there are a few things that would happen a lot easier. So what you're having to do when using the online version is just be a little more creative. Um, for instance, when it's asking you to reuse slides from Cornerstone SMB, since you can't do the normal reuse slides because that's just simply not an option in the online version, um, what you can do is you can open up the SMB PowerPoint, uh, take the information, uh, control and highlight both slides, copy those slides, then come back over to your cornerstone and um, paste those slides in, and then it just tells you to have those be alphabetical. So I can just move those around as I need to. Peaches, pears, plum, and then strawberries would go at the end. Okay, so, you know, it's not as easy. Um, let me separate those out here. Blackberries kind of come down with that one. There we go. All right, so it took me maybe a minute or two longer, but I achieved the same task. So sometimes you just have to be uh, a little creative with how you are um, finishing these tasks. Same thing with the outline. You may have to just open up um, the document that you're getting the information from and simply copying and pasting that information from that outline document versus just importing it directly into the PowerPoint. So I may just take the title, pumpkin pie, for instance, and bring it over and pop it into that presentation for the cookbook uh, as my next slide. Maybe just put pumpkin pie in there and then come down to the next um, group of information, highlight that, and copy that. Almost got it all that time. There we go. Copy that and then bring that over to the presentation that I am currently working on. Okay, so a little bit different. Um, it will, there we go, it'll fit in there for you. So it is, you're going to have to be a little creative. So my best bet for you is to find a computer where you can use the desktop app. Everyone has free access to Office. Um, you can go to your portal. Uh, portal.wcs.k12.va.us and actually download Office from there. And if all you have is a Chromebook, you can still do these lessons, but you just have to alter them slightly. So that's my best tip for you to finish out lesson two, module two. And as you continue through the lessons, you're going to find some things just don't work exactly the same. And that's okay. You're being exposed to them on either side. And as long as you're trying your best, that's all I ask for. Guys, we'll make it together in this virtual environment. Have a great night and or day tomorrow, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.